Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to another video here on Marvel Strike Force. First of all, uh, we have reset here on a Monday afternoon at the store reset time, and boy, does it feel like shit has just hit the fan some more. Uh, let's start with a few of this and why I think that this week is not off to a great start and uh so i i should i have no no real major issues here with, with haunted hour but i just do want to kind of point out there was an announcement made i don't i think on discord maybe on reddit as well uh that basically talked about the extra milestone points in the daily objectives now i don't know which milestone daily objective this is because i actually cleared all of mine by accident because i'm a stupid idiot by the way there's still the the sentinel um the Omega Sentinel orbs are in there for people as well. Please let me know in the comments down below if you save your objectives and, and which one. I think it's maybe the final objective, I would imagine. Maybe it's the Blitz one as well. Also, uh, don't forget to do your 10 Blitzes with, or tw sorry, 20 Blitzes uh, with Moon Knight and Agatha so you can pick up those uh, extra milestones. You can get like 20,000 like right now. So you should be able to get to like milestone 10 if you just spam 10 Blitzes uh, with those characters. So make sure you go about and doing that because I'm looking forward to picking up this a WandaVision costume later on. Now, uh, I do want to talk about the event, the hunger and the thirst. This is kind of where I want to start. Now, I do now remember I did this last week with the bug. Where where the fuck is this? Starts in five minutes, so it's not even actually started yet. But, but we can kind of take a look at what's in here. So I want to go into the thirst. Now, I did the three levels, right? If you guys caught my video from last week. Uh, but I want to talk about the nerf that they did to these rewards. The only thing that they didn't nerf was the zombie hunter orb fragments, which I have another issue with, which I want to talk about in this video. Let's start here with the rewards. So I have a photo here. That's the store. Uh, I have a photo, an image here. So this is my level three rewards that I did last week. Okay, So I want to compare uh, the zombie hunter orb fragments are the same. I can't see the candy, honestly, and so I'd have to go back and look at my video. I probably should have. Uh, maybe it's the same, maybe it's not. Purple ISO, 2300 and 150. That is nowhere near the same, 990 and 70. Okay, so it's like almost cut in half. No, oh, actually, it's more than that. The purple ions were, were, were more than cut in half. Uh, the purple credits, uh, you know, is 150 each versus 70. So, yeah, more than half, actually, more than cut in half. Uh, these, the armory orbs and the teal orbs, six, now I don't, 16, you could, you could just tell right off the bat, right? Like there was at least two times they cut this, these rewards by a factor of two or more in some instances, 8,000 for the teal gear rate. I mean, it's not a big deal necessarily, but it's stacked up, right? So 36, eight from 8,000 to 3,600. And where it really mattered was the man thing, night stalker orb fragments. Now we're at 880 from 1900. So again, a reduction of like two and a half. Maybe not quite two and a half, but, you know, 2.2 X, something like that. Right. You know, I'm not going to bust out the calculator here, uh, but still it is a huge reduction when I was able to do 30 attempts, basically 30 attempts at this level last week. And now you're only getting three challenge tokens. So that part is a significant difference, which I think people should be upset about. And this kind of draws back into the, the so far as of 2.11 p.m. Pacific time, we haven't heard anything about compensation. Now, I, to I talked about this yesterday in my event video about why it could be troublesome and problematic because if they send out the zombie hunter orb fragments as part of a compensation package anytime this week, it is going to go against the leaderboard. And so that's a big problem there too. Uh, the other thing I want to talk about is the orb itself and my concern with this and the way that they have advertised this because I think it's a bit seedy, honestly, that they have the event orb, the zombie hunt, all the way down here, too many orbs in this store, zombie hunter orb, and it has, un uh, sorry, undying, well, undying, but it has zombie juggernaut and zombie Iron Man on the orb, and they're not even in the orb. The orb itself actually isn't that bad, and I actually opened this uh, in a orb opening that I, I actually did record, but it wasn't really worth it anyways. Uh, but the rewards are pretty decent. Like there's a lot of training modules. There's there's a decent amount of gold in here as well. Minimum drop of, of 500,000 gold all the way up to 1.5 million. And the center pillar does have some decent, uh, has a 28.6% chance of Omega Sentinel 
and Nimrod, and we know how badly we still need those Omega Sentinel shards, but within here, there is no Zombie Juggernaut, there is no Zombie Iron Man for people who still might need shards for them, but on the banner, it shows the Undying Zombies, so I think this is honestly false advertising, and the fact that they're probably going to sell, you know what, they're probably in the store right now, and I'm going to check after this, 12 shards of both, so that's not too bad. I did manage to pick up, I'm pretty close to the Omega Sentinel. I, I think I picked up 12 shards from these orbs that I opened, which again, I got for free from last week because I got to take advantage of uh, their fuck up, which I hope that they are able to compensate to everyone else. Also, the right pillar does have guaranteed red gear, 50 catalysts, 50% 50 of 50 catalysts, or 30 of the origin gear pieces, which again, it's more red gear and stuff that I, I had 11 zombie orbs that I was able to open for free. It's not even open yet up the event. The event's not open yet, but you can see that I did have leftover fragments. So uh, I want to talk about that. I think I'm, yeah, I, I might do some gameplay of the zombie levels a little bit because I do want to kind of see what's going on. But anyways, what I don't like is let's go to the store and see if they are actually advertising. The, the free claim for the event is not up as of recording this, which is that now we're at 2.14. And the free claim, there is the free claim for Night Raid that's there, but the free claim for Zombie Invasion is is not there. And I just have this feeling that, are they not selling any event stuff yet? Did they fuck that up too? There is some new Hunger and the Thirst uh, offers in here, uh, over here. What the fuck is it? Oh, nice. They're all the nice soccer orbs? That's interesting. Uh, but I don't see any direct events rewards there's night rays maybe they didn't push it that's, that's strange okay well maybe they're not selling the zombie hunter ores. maybe they just screwed up maybe it's not been available yet that that's honestly a little bit of a surprise to me i don't normally like you know go into a video into the store i just was curious about this and and it looks like that they're not i don't know what's going on the game right now not that i care about the monetization aspect also the zombie juggernaut battle pass is here it's not very good. I would not recommend buying it personally. There are zombie juggernaut shards in there. However, it's just not very different than what the passes have been. Now, there is the same total. I think it's 140 shards. There is the same amount of dark promotion credits. I'm getting a little bit cross-eyed just kind of looking at this. But at the very end here, you can see that they added dark diamond credits. So there is 300 on the, on the free track and 1,500 on the pay track for a grand total of 1,800 dark diamonds. But why does this even matter if I can't even spend them? I got 19,000 Dark Diamond credits because we just had the Cosmic Crucible uh, season payout. And um, uh, I can't use them because I don't have enough Dark Promo credits to buy the characters that I want. So there's a few things that I'm upset with that they didn't increase the Dark Promo credits. They didn't give uh, Zombie Juggernaut Red Stars on here because they actually did that last year with the Zombie Iron Man. There was a pass. It was like a joint pass, I believe, maybe with both the zombies maybe or at least zombie iron man was on there but i i do i do remember directly that there was a four red zombie iron man on the rta pass and i thought that they'd maybe do that again with zombie juggernaut because i was actually hoping I, I was actually considering buying it if that was the case because that would have saved me a lot of dpcs but it appears not and i think that this is unless they're doing a second battle pass for him but that'd be in two weeks like post halloween right so it wouldn't make a lot of sense anymore and so i think this might be all that we're getting and whether or not that's even worth buying anyways, because there's a chance that he might just become flat out, flat out farmable, right? And that's what happened with Zombie Iron Man was that like after Halloween, the old zombie became farmable. So I, I, I wouldn't really buy into this because there's nothing really that great in there that uh, is, is worth considering at this point in time. Yeah, I don't know. I think that things are a little bit uh, messy right now. They really need to talk. They really need to say something by the end of today, Monday. Honestly, I think because if there isn't, I'm... I might go out on a limb and say that we're not getting a uh, that we're not getting compensation for this. I, I guess it's it's live now in the challenges. Maybe no. Where do you even find this stupid thing? It was in the events, right? Like there we go. Okay, so now it's live. You have 18 days, so that's something. That's great. So wh while I've been recording this video, it has gone live, and it is 18 days. So you can get these rewards even after zombie invasion is done, which does require the zombie hunter or fragment so we're getting at least 18 days of this but what i don't want and, and 18 days of these as well but again what i don't like is the heavy nerfing of all of the rewards and then all of the stuff that i and other people were able to take advantage of that you guys are not going to have 
And so I'm advocating on on your guys' behalf that honestly that that you deserve the 20. I had 28 man thing orders. You can go back and watch the video. Uh, it was an insane amount of stuff that they offered. Uh, I might do a separate video because I know this is going to take a little bit of time and I don't know if my undying is good enough. To, I, I hope actually. I hope I can at least do level three, right? You know, because I have G. My hell is pretty big, uh, but I don't have any red stars on zombie juggernaut and I don't have I, it's OK. My zombie Iron Man's OK. Uh, and then I guess Scarlet Zombie Witch is going to be available next Monday, I think. So while this is still ongoing, I don't know how far I'll be able to get. So I might turn that into a separate video, which I'll record after I put this one out. And so I just wanted to share my my thoughts, my concerns, uh, especially with these rewards. Right. You know, and and the good news is, is that once you if you do level two, that at least for the man thing or fragments, it caps out uh, so it doesn't scale up. But the zombie hunter or fragments do scale. Uh, you can see the, the sliding rewards there. So you are going to miss out on a little bit. The candy actually caps out at 1250, it would seem. And there's just more stuff as you go up the difficulties. But at least you're not losing out. Well, you are losing out on the man thing or but you are not as it starts right now. That's something, I suppose. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Uh, it's been a crazy weekend here in Marvel Strike Force, and I don't know if Monday is really faring all that much better. That's just my thoughts, uh, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Boylan signing out.